Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Raid World. So today we're gonna to be installing Ciro 3D's LED lighted bag blades. Uh, I already have the Ciro 3D latitude tail light with license plate holder, as well as the uh, filler panel lights from Ciro 3D. Uh, we're gonna finish it off with the bag blades. Uh, it's just gonna go in the back of the saddle bags and uh, just another, another good product from Ciro 3D. All right, let's get it installed. All right, so here we have uh, Ciro 3D's LED lighted bag blades uh, with run, turn, and brake lights. So we'll get this unboxed and see what we got inside. Uh, so it looks like we have uh, instructions. Ciro 3D always provides good instructions uh, for installing other, uh, other parts. Uh, so here we got the uh, packet. So we got a packet of zip ties. Uh, looks like the uh, four pin Y adapters, uh, six inch cable ties and then uh, adhesive back cable tie mounts in here. Looks like we have the bag blades in here. So left and right bag blades. So we'll go ahead and uh, open this one up. So we got our zip ties. Then uh, our adhesive backing. Cable tie mounts. And then we have our uh, four pin Y adapters here. So uh, that's what we got in the box. So we'll get this installed. All right, so here we have our 2020 Road Glide Special. As you can see, I already have Ciro 3D's uh, filler panel lights, as well as the uh, Latitude tail light with license plate holder. Uh, so the bag blades are gonna go here. Uh, we just gotta prep the area. Make sure you use an ammonia-based cleaner, uh, microfiber towel, and we're just gonna clean this area here. Uh, make sure your saddlebags are closed and latched. Uh, that way when we mount these things, we're not uh, interfering with the closing of the lid of, uh, of our saddlebags. So if you look here, um, obviously you want the wire going in towards uh, the motorcycle here. So they only go one way. As you can see here, it doesn't sit right. Uh, it sits up. So this will be our uh, right saddlebag on this side. So it would sit here. You can see it fits nice and uh, flush right here with the wire going towards the inside. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, prep the area here. Just give it a good spray. Uh, just wipe it down where you're gonna stick it to. We'll go ahead and install this side first. Uh, like before, on the 3M backing, just go ahead and uh, activate that uh, 3M tape. Just rub your nail behind there. Go ahead and uh, peel that tape off. And you got that sticky backing. So we'll go ahead and line this up. Just make sure everything's even. Go ahead and uh, apply pressure there for about 60 seconds. All right, so we have our uh, right bag blade here. Go ahead and uh, activate that 3M tape. Go ahead and peel that tape off. Go ahead and apply even pressure, 60 seconds. All right, so now we got these bag blades on. We got our right, we got our left. Everything's on there set pretty good. We'll go ahead and remove these saddlebags. We'll move to the table and we'll go ahead and route these wires. All right, so here we have our left saddlebag taken off. We have our Ciro 3D bag blade here with the wire. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and route this back here. So we'll make sure we clean this up. It's ammonia-based uh, cleaner. We'll just get clean this up so we got a good uh, place to stick these backings to. All right, so we got this all nice and uh, we got it cleaned up. So we'll go ahead and start putting our uh, taping here. We'll go ahead, same thing with these. We'll activate it, scratch them up a little bit to the back of the tape. We'll go ahead and take that off. We'll go ahead and stick it to the bottom here, right underneath your uh, your saddlebag mounting bolt hole. We'll do it about an inch down from there. All right, so we'll go ahead and mount this one here. It looks like for the instructions, we'll go ahead and put this one right above the other uh, mounting bolt hole for your saddlebags. 
We got our three zip ties and we have our uh, three zip tie mounting clips here. So we'll go ahead and get this first one on there. So we'll kind of just loosely put them on there for now. We won't tighten it up yet. So we'll go ahead and tighten this one down. That one's on there nice and tight. We'll go ahead and tighten this one down. I like to keep this cable flat as possible. We'll go ahead and tighten this one down. All right, so these are nice and tight. Uh, we'll make sure we leave that uh, slack right here for the uh, shock. And we'll go ahead and tighten this one down. All right, so there you have that there. Um, I might put some clear tape on this uh, just to keep it down, but uh, we'll see how this works out. Because obviously we, want, we don't want this sticking out every time we pull our saddlebags off. And obviously whenever you do pull your saddlebags off, you're gonna have to disconnect it every time. So we'll go ahead and uh, clip these off and we'll get the other side done. All right, so now we got our right saddlebag. We'll go ahead and uh, route this wire exactly like the, uh, the left saddlebag. All right, so we have our zip ties trimmed down. Um, everything looks good. We'll go ahead and put this back on the bike. All right, so now we got our bike up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the seat off and we'll access the wires underneath. All right, so here we have our seat off. Uh, we have our cables connected back, our OEM cables for our rear tail light connected here. Um, so this is what it would look like if you just pulled your seat off, everything's stock, nothing connected, no Series 3D products. Uh, so here we have our latitude tail light plug here. We have our filler panel light here, filler panel light here, and we have our bag blades uh, connectors here. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this disconnected here. This is the OEM plug, controls your rear lighting, your black, your black plug, and then you got your gray plug. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that one. We have the uh, Ciro 3D cam bus decoder here. This comes with your filler panel lights. So we'll go ahead and connect this one first. Uh, everything with Sierra 3D is all plug and play, so you got your six pin connectors here, and then you have your splitters here for your other wires. So we'll go ahead and get this one connected. So we have that connected there, we'll put that to the side. So now we have the uh, splitter harness here that comes with the latitude tail light. So if you were just to get the latitude tail light, you don't need the, uh, the cam bus decoder, you just have this that comes with the package. Um, so we'll go ahead and plug that in next. So this will plug into the decoder. And then from here, it'll plug in to the uh, rear lighting harness here. So here we have our connector for our uh, latitude tail light. Latitude tail light here. So we'll go ahead and connect this one. All right, so we have the Ciro 3D uh, cam bus decoder here connected towards the front. And then in the middle here, we have our uh, latitude tail light uh, splitter harness that plugs into our latitude tail light. And then we have our two uh, wire leads here that connect to our filler panel lights and our bag blades. And this is where those uh, wire Y splitters, uh, the connectors that come with the bag blades come in handy. So you have your brown wire that goes to your right and your violet wire that goes to your left. So we'll go ahead and get those wire connectors. So for these wire connectors, it doesn't matter uh, which side you put them on. Uh, just as long as you got your brown wire to the right side here. So we'll go ahead and connect this one. And we'll connect our filler panel light. And we'll connect our bag blades here. All right, so we got our left side, which is our violet wire here. We'll go ahead and connect our wire connector. So we have our filler panel light here. We have our bag blade here. All right, so everything's wired up. Um, so recap, 
We got our serial 3D CAN bus controller towards the front. And then uh, in the middle here, splitter is the latitude tail light splitter. Goes in the latitude tail light. And then from your CAN bus decoder, you have these two uh, wires that split off. You have your uh, brown wire here and your violet wire here. Um, goes to your right and your left saddlebags. And then from there, it goes to a splitter that comes with the saddlebag or the bag blades. And those split off to your saddlebag, bag blades and your filler panel lights. So we'll get this all turned on, make sure everything works before we uh, organize all these wires. All right, so we got everything hooked up. Uh, got the bike turned on, everything's lighting up. So we'll make sure all the turn signals work. Right turn signal. Left turn signal. So we hit our brakes. So it looks like this uh, right saddle bag is uh, lagging a little bit. So we'll go ahead and uh, do a reset really fast. Let's turn our uh, hazards on for about 30 seconds. All right, so that should be about good. We'll go ahead and test these again. You got right turn signal. Left turn signal. Everything's working there. Go ahead and hit our hazards. We'll go ahead and hit our brake. All right, just a little troubleshooting, everything works fine.